Hi, I'm Hamilton, and these are my April 2020 highlights. Um, every month I put out some release notes just kind of detailing uh, the things that I've been doing in my life, um, the things I've been trying, the things that I've released uh, as a way to kind of see where I am in life and you know where I want to go in the next month or so. So let's go into the highlights. Uh, first thing to call out is that I'm filming this within quarantine, so quarantine coping, as I call it, is uh, top of mind. Um, by my count, it's day 56 since work went fully remote. Um, and so that's had a lot of impact, and I've been trying to find ways to kind of deal with that and gain back some sort of sense of normalcy, some sense of um, optimization uh, out of this odd time. So some things to call out are I started playing video games again, I reopened Steam, downloaded I think four games uh, this month, I set up my Xbox, got Game Pass, um, my Xbox has been in my closet for about two years now, and so uh, I was lucky that it worked, I guess. Um, I've also been picking up some books and reading a lot. I'm trying to make this time productive. Um, I uh, started some courses for the same reason. I've been reflecting a lot, been trying to journal more often uh, to kind of understand where the new stresses are and what I can do about them. Um, and then also been doing a good amount of virtual happy hours uh, and virtual like face-to-face -face things to try to basically fill up those buckets of social and fun um, and connection that, you know, were solved by habits that were present when we could all be face-to-face -face and now are kind of lacking because those habits don't really exist. The second thing that uh, I did was I created a COVID art series for good. So I've been thinking about how I'm pretty lucky in a position where um, I still have a job, I'm still getting paid, I still, you know, can get food and stuff. So, you know, in the grand scheme of things, not super affected by coronavirus. So I wanted to think about like, how could I give back? How could I do something good with this position? Um, so I resurrected this uh, idea, this um, project of mine called Ham for Good, which is basically a portfolio of projects that I create where a majority of the proceeds go to some sort of good cause. In this case, it's um, to helping those affected by coronavirus and, um, and fighting the coronavirus. So to do that, I created a COVID art series um, under handmade.art on Instagram, um, where sales from uh, the prints, um, those proceeds are under Hamper Good and they will go to those organizations. So um, if you're interested in those prints, you can find it at uh, shop.iamhandme.xyz. And if you just want to look at some of the stuff that I made, um, you can check it out on handme.art. Uh, the last thing that I did was um, work on some visualizations. So uh, I've been interested in audio visualizations for the past few years, I guess. Um, and I finally started putting out uh, some examples of those of my own about two years ago. Um, so I've been working for the past around two months um, on some visuals for uh, my buddy Steve's, um, under the artist name Steve's Space's new album, uh, The Voyage, which is uh, out on Spotify. Um, those aren't quite ready yet, but hoping to release them this month. Uh, also, Griffin Hannekamp, one of my friends, um, released a live from Quarantine Mix, and I used one of the visualizations I'd created in the past, um, Monoform, to uh, visualize that. That's now on YouTube if you want to look at it. Um, and then I kind of got to this place where I wanted to think about like, you know, what am I doing? What am I trying to accomplish with all these visualizations? Do I just want to make them these one-off, you know, sketches to work with artists with? Or do I want to do some more like full-blown like live VJ stuff or what? And I, I kind of kept coming back to this idea of like the iTunes visualizer that just kind of lives on everyone's computer and you can just like pull it up when you want to look at it or whatever. So uh, I built a, a platform to kind of simulate that and to kind of see like, you know, how people reacted, if this made sense or not, called Visidual. This basically hosts all of the web-based visualizations that I've done and um, shuffles through them and kind of shows the generative nature of them. Uh, so I would love some feedback on it to see if, you know, if this is actually useful to people, if people even care about this kind of thing. So, um, check that out. I'll have links in the, uh, thing below. So 
yeah, th those are my highlights for April. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, as I said, they, I write these release notes. The full release notes can be find can be found um, on blog.ianhammy.xyz, which I'll link to below. Um, and yeah, I post these every month. So if you're interested in watching more, reading more about this, just uh, follow me or subscribe. That's it. Don't get sick.